Dear students, our topic Array Implementation of Q. We can create a Q in our program by using an Array data structure and also by using linked list data structure. Here, I am going to explain about the Array Implementation of Q. So, we can easily represent Q by using linear arrays. There are two variables. There are two variables, the friend and rear. Friend is pointing to the deletion position and the rear is pointing to the insertion position so we can delete an element from the queue only from the friend side and we can insert and more elements to that cube by using the rear variable or that the side of rear side only okay so the initially the value of friend equal to minus one if the friend value is minus one then we can say that our queue is empty so let's discuss about the algorithm to insert any element in a linear queue we can say that the insertion operation of a element of an element into a queue we can term it as a n queue n queue means the insertion of an any element in a linear queue first case is we want to check the overflow condition is there any more free space to insert a new element for that we are checking step one if rear equal to max minus one then write overflow we are implementing the queue by using array so the array index is starting from the zero to n minus one so total 10 elements this array contains the 10 elements so 0 to 9 if friend equal to friend value holds minus 1 that means it is q is empty if first condition is we want to check the overflow condition if this full value this q is full if the q is full the case is like this so the friend is pointing to 0 and the rear is pointing to 9 our max value is 10 is it so our array is q of 10 we are declaring a array with 10 elements so total the max number of elements that a, this q can hold us 10 so our rear is pointing to 9 and that is my max minus 1 that is the indication of overflow is that condition is true then we are going to step 4 then that is the end of the first if structure otherwise we are checking one more condition the, if there is no overflow condition then we want to insert the element into that array for that only one normal condition is there and other condition is only that the queue is empty if friend equal to minus one and rear equal to minus one that is nothing is there in the in this queue if friend equal to minus if the stack if the queue is empty friend equal to minus one and also rear equal to minus one before insertion we want to set our friend value also equal to zero and the rear value also equal to zero because we are inserting our new element as a very first element so before that we are initializing f equal to friend equal to zero and rear equal to zero okay this is the one case then we are inserting otherwise in a normal case we want to only increment the rear value because something is there in our array our rear value contains rather than minus one here the rear value is two so before nq operation we want to just increment the rear value now rear is pointing to three and we want to insert the new value into the space so this step two is for if friend equal to minus one and rear equal to minus one set friend equal to rear equal to zero okay that is the one only one exception case otherwise the only condition is rear equal to rear plus one we have already checked the overflow condition so there is no need to check that condition here so end of the step two then our aim is there is a value in the num variable we want to save that num variable equal to our q of 3 q of rear now the value of r equal to 3 rear equal to 3 q of 3 equal to num exit so that is the algorithm for nq operation in array implementation concept now algorithm to delete an element from the linear that is the dq operation okay dq so step one is if the q is empty we can't delete elements from that q for that we want to check the condition that is friend equal to minus one right on under flow and then go into the exit step otherwise if something is there in our queue the value of our queue is like this so our f is pointing to zero and our rear is pointing to three 
okay so we want to check the underflow condition first that is the step 1 in step 2 if something is the we can only delete from the front side is it we want to save the queue of now the front value is zero the queue of zero queue of zero contains the value a to our variable a then we want to change the friend change the friend or rear value for that we want to check one condition that is the normal condition we want to increment the value of so normal case we want to increment the value of f the value of friend because we want to delete the delete the element a so we want to increment and now f equal to or friend equal to 1 Okay, that is the normal case. One other case is there. If only one element is there, our end variable is also zero and rear variable is also zero. That is f equal to friend equal to rear. So at that case, we want to delete a and we want to set the friend and rear variable as minus one. Otherwise, the normal case friend equal to friend plus one. Okay, if if friend is similar same as rear, then the situation is that q contains only one element. it is it is not necessary it is zero okay let's assume that our rear is pointing to 4 and and friend is pointing to 0 first we want to delete a so friend is now 1 now we want to delete b now the value of friend is 2 now we want to delete c the value of friend is 3 now and we want to delete d then the value of friend is 4 now here also see friend equal to rear the case is only e is there in the queue or in this array okay so at that at that time we want to set friend equal to rear equal to minus 1 that is after deleting e our queue is empty otherwise the normal condition friend equal to friend plus 1 end of this if structure and we are exiting from the algorithm hope it is clear dear students we can meet in the next video thank you